The spread of respect and power in a community is influenced by certain conditions, which many observers measure by means of the economic distribution and information scales. If a community's economic distribution becomes slanted, its middle income groups grow smaller, and despotism stands a better chance to gain a foothold. Where land is privately owned, one sign of a poorly balanced economy is the concentration of land ownership in the hands of a very small number of people. When farmers lose their farms, they lose their independence. This one can stay on, but not as his own boss anymore. To the extent that this condition exists throughout a nation, the likelihood of despotism is increased. In communities which depend almost entirely on a single industry, such as a factory or mine, maintaining economic balance is a challenging problem. If this condition exists over the nation as a whole, so that the control of jobs and business opportunities is in a few hands, despotism stands a good chance. Another sign of a poorly balanced economy is a taxation system that presses heaviest on those least able to pay. A larger part of a small income is spent on necessities such as food. Sales taxes on such necessities hit the small income harder. In the days of the salt tax, feudal despotisms were partly sustained by this and other effects.